I'm here on the National Mall where a configuration of memorials honor those who have fought and died for the United States. And while there is no debate that the majority of these men and women served bravely, there is debate over the wars themselves. In 2009, Zach Davidson enlisted in the Army with the intent of fighting in Iraq. I was at a pretty low point in my life. I didn't have a lot of options. And I was like, hey, why not try to join the military and see if you can, you know, do something, you know, that people don't typically get to do and go see war. He served on a counter IED patrol near the Iranian border. His deployment came at the tail end of the U.S. occupation. It's hard to explain um, what a what a country that's been ravaged by war for a, almost a decade at that point by the time I'd gotten there it looks like. And it is just devastation everywhere and people just trying to live in the worst conditions you could imagine. 20 years later, the decision to invade Iraq is still a polarizing one. I think our, our men and women who went and fought in Iraq did a great job to take freedom to those people who, who wanted freedom. I think the Iraq war was one of the biggest mistakes America made. For Zach, he says he made brothers for life, but his rear view of the war and his deployment is complicated. If you ask the, the, you know, the private military corporations and contractors and the weapons manufacturers, I'm sure that they thought the whole thing was a great idea. Um, if you ask the millions of Iraqis who died, they probably don't think it's a great idea. Me personally, I, I when I was over there, I, I was kind of wondering the whole time why we were there. On the National Mall, I'm Molly Martinez.